Today's show is sponsored by Black Box. I'm, I'm based in London. I love shooting here. I love living here. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife's from Texas, and okay. we've been you know, we talk about spending time in America, working over there as well. Sure. Uh, is, is there a benefit to working in LA as a filmmaker as opposed to somewhere like London? Um, well, I don't know a lot about the London filmmaking mm -hmm. yeah. market. Yeah. All I do know is that if if the film industry left London, London is mm -hmm. London. If the mm -hmm. film industry left LA, the whole city would come crashing down. So there's that. So the whole city is built around the industry. It, it, there are, of course, many other industries in Los Angeles, but the industry is Los Angeles in many ways. So is there a benefit here? Coming, from, This is coming from someone who lived in a smaller market in Miami um, uh -huh. for 25 years of my life I was there. Uh, and I made a living as an editor and director and doing things as well. But when I got here, uh, from my point of view, what I was able to learn by doing work here in a year, it was like five years in Miami because the quality of projects tend to be higher because the quality of people, uh, as far as experience is concerned, is higher. Don't get me wrong. There's a bunch of idiots around here, uh, as right. much as any, in any other place. Oh, everywhere. Everywhere. There's always a bunch of idiots or people who don't know what they're doing. Um, but at least the group of people that I was working with, uh, they're just at a different level on, on, on their journey. So you as a, as a filmmaker will be able to be able to tap into that and you've got to raise your game to keep up with them. It's kind of like you're a football player and you all of a sudden get thrown into a pro team. Your game has to go up. If it doesn't, you get thrown off and you're done. So this is a good way of two things. One, raising your game, and two, figuring out if you can stay in the game at this level. You know, I've never directed a $250 million movie. Um, I haven't been given that opportunity. Uh, I hope to have other other experiences between now and hopefully that moment one day uh -huh. in my life, um, <laughs> if that ever happens, but multiple other experiences to get me to the place where I'm very comfortable uh, at that level. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like a hundred million first. I mean, seriously, yeah. let's just, I mean, we, I'm not well, somewhere small. I mean, it's just, I mean, come on. Uh, <laughs> but, but that, but being here allows you that very much. And especially someone like you who has, uh, sounds like has experience. You're not like mm -hmm. you have shot some stuff. You've done some things. You've been in a big market. So you're not coming out of completely nowhere, but I can guarantee you London and LA are a whole different ball game, a completely mm -hmm. different way of doing things. You know, uh, I, I, again, watching those Star Wars uh, and Kubrick documentaries, tea time, huge deal. You got a break for tea time. There's no tea time here. <laughs> <laughs> There's we, uh, I haven't been on a set with a tea time for a long time. Now, okay, so. good. Maybe that's just the old way of doing things. Yeah. Fine. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, things are very different. But yeah, is there a benefit? Absolutely. If you want to be mm -hmm. in the film industry um, and you want to kind of take your game up a notch, be a, in a big market is a big thing, but being in LA, it's just kind of like New York. People always ask me, New York or LA. I'm like, I gotta say LA because New York is great and there's so much production going on in New York. But again, if the film industry left New York, New York is still New York. Uh, but LA is just all, it's everywhere. Everywhere you drive, everywhere you look. You walk into any Starbucks, all you see is laptop with screenplays being written. It's the biggest joke here in LA. Like every, every, just you know, just walk into any Uber. You guys, you guys, of course you have Uber. Um, if you get picked up by an Uber driver, nine out of ten times you just go. So how's the screenplay going? And you don't uh, even know if they're. <laughs> and they'll just turn around and go. Yeah. How'd you know? It's just, uh -huh. it's just the way it is here. Mm -hmm. So that's from coming from someplace that's not like that to coming here and literally seeing the film industry in every walk of life. It is uh, pretty inspirational. Um, but it, you're you're playing at that point with the big boys. If you, it, again, depending on what projects you're doing, what you're trying to do. I'm assuming you want to be a director. Um, I, would, I want to be a creator. I mean, well, I guess I'm kind of showrunning this. I'm happy to sure. collaborate with directors and, and work on things. But yeah, making things happen. Correct. So uh, then this is. I mean, honestly, this is a place to go. I always tell people have at least a year of of savings here, set up, which is easier for you because you have the pound. Um, so Whoa, it's been going downhill recently. Yeah, it's, 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 you're still good. You're still good okay. for, for a little while longer. Um, mm. But uh, save at least a year of time and give yourself at least a year, if not longer, uh, to see if, if it's going to work for you. Uh -huh. um, 
I, I don't say that often from to Europeans because uh, that's a big move. <laughs> it's a uh-huh. huge move to come over. But if you can figure a way out to do it, you owe it to yourself as a filmmaker just to be here, even if it's for a year, to see what it's like, man. Because once you get here, it's you know, for the first three or four years I was here, it, the streets were paved with gold. Now yeah. I'm cynical yeah. and, you know, I'm grumpy and all this kind of stuff. Uh, but those first three or four years, everything was like, this is awesome. This is great. And it still is. It's a wonderful place to be uh, as far as the the business is concerned. I mean, I literally can walk down the street and, you know, I'm right next to Warner Brothers. I'm right next to Disney. I live in, 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 the, in the valley here. So mm-hmm. that's so cool when you when you first get here that's super cool you know being able to just you know have someone call you up on the set on, on the on the on the back lot and walk around and watch stuff happen for the, that's such a cool experience so anyway if you do come let me know i'll connect yeah. you with where to go don't go to hollywood boulevard please everyone uh-huh. does stop it um that you'll get you'll get mugged but uh, <laughs> but but that's all man so thank you again man brother so much for uh, for being on the show i really i really appreciate it and was i of, uh, was i of any value oh my goodness yes yeah i got uh, there's gonna be a whole bunch of work to do in the next 10 days i wanted to share with you this amazing new service called black box imagine taking old footage that you've shot in the past and being able to submit them to all the major stock footage firms all with one click and you can split the commission among multiple crew members or creators. So to sign up for free, just go to blackbox.global.